So Paul had a great passion for um, education, but he also had a very strong belief in ensuring that Māori and Pacific New Zealanders had an opportunity to succeed and do well. And um, in the conversations that I had with him, he always uh, wanted to talk to me about um, the achievement of young Māori and Pacific um, youth and their capacity to make sure that they participated in uh, society and had equal opportunity and equal advancement. And um, all I can say is I think he's absolutely on the right track because when we look at New Zealand society, actually out of the education system, we should be pretty proud of what we're achieving. Um, whether it's at a secondary, uh, primary, secondary or tertiary level, in fact New Zealand um, provides a world class education and, and is doing well for its students. Uh, but nevertheless, we actually still see uh, a, a large number of Māori and Pacific youth who are either not engaged in tertiary education at the levels we want, or are not achieving out of secondary school the level of qualification that we would want. Um, the government is working really hard to try and lift those attainment levels and to make sure that we encourage youngsters to do that, uh, but there's more work to be done. We happen to live in a world where um, the days of, of unskilled labour are uh, uh, very quickly disappearing from our shores. I mean, our youngsters need to get a world-class education, they need to have the skills, and they need to be able to compete. And by 2025, one in two youngsters going to um, primary school in New Zealand will be of Maori and, and Pacific ethnicity. And we need them to uh, be obtaining, uh, obtaining NCA level two and, and above at the same rates of all New Zealanders. And that's really the challenge, I think, for the government is to keep pushing uh, that level of, of ambition and to making sure that, um, as a society, uh, we're well-educated and well-skilled to succeed. And we rely enormously on our universities to do that.